Hey everyone, I'm Marina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here for a shop update preview. The shop update will be this Friday, February 18th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time at pineappleyarn.com. I am just getting all of my beautiful yarn set up here. I'm in front of a window today, so I'm having a little bit of, I don't want to say difficulty, but I'm dealing with natural light and so it's kind of all over the place so hopefully this will work out but i have some beautiful yarn for you today and i am so excited to share it with you so before i begin i just want to tell you about some of the clubs i have in the shop i have some march pre-order clubs and i'm going to share them with you somewhere on the screen <laughs> but they are so fun so for our march clubs we have a mini skein club we have a fiber club and then our glow club which is our yarn and candle club as well as our sun club which is our neon club so i know um, i've heard from a lot of you saying that you have been interested in trying out a basically a yarn of the month club, a yarn subscription service. Well, this is a great chance <laughs> because I offer subscription services, you know, every month you get a really gorgeous yarn or candle or a mini skein or if you're a spinner, um, a fiber, but then also I do have them available monthly. And so that's really handy. Um, or I shouldn't say monthly, as a one-time purchase. So that's always really nice too. You can try it out and you don't have a commitment. Um, it's super easy to use the subscription service too. If you do subscribe, you can change your base. You can change your, uh, you can change your base. You can skip a month. It's super easy. And as always, I'm happy to uh, help you with that if you want to email me, but it's very, very easy to do it yourself. So I have a new tonal that I am really excited to share with you. This is called Neon Jade. And I'm actually going to scoot these, all of these beauties out of the way. But this is Neon Jade, and I really, really love this color. It is a beautiful jade color it's light and bright but it does have those neon undertones and it is just it's so beautiful now it is very similar to my green stars color which is right here except it just has a little bit more blue a little more aqua and so um, it definitely is a green but if you're familiar with green stars which is a very uh, very green kind of punchy green um, maybe even kind of a pale neon shamrocky green, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, this neon jade, it has some more blue in it. So I'm really excited about that new tonal and it goes really great with some of the colors I have this week. I really did a lot of beautiful, bright colors, I, I guess, as always. But I did a lot of yellows and blues. And so um, Neon Jade was just a really great tonal to include with this group. So here we are. This is Shiny Objects. It will also be included in the update this month, or this week, I should say. And it's just a beautiful bright kind of light and bright yellow it is so so beautiful and i'm going to pair with it another color i am going to be stocking which is called ocean motion and this is a beautiful green and blue variegated skein i really love these with neon jade so, you know, this is just a really great green. It goes with so many different colors. So let me show you some other tonals that might go well with this group. This is Glow Worm. 
and then we have green stars. So there's three different greens right there uh, that I carry in the shop and those are all really beautiful. This definitely has more blue than these two. And then if you wanted a pop of color in your project, you could also use poolside, which is just a really gorgeous blue shade. So Neon Jade is a new tonal. I'm very excited about it because I really, really love it. Oh, I would be remiss to not pair it with Princess. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I think those two look so, so pretty together. All right, well, moving on from Neon Jade, I'm going to show you shiny object. These are so pretty. You can see there's just a lot of yellow tones in here, kind of a base of different yellow tones, but then there's some just, it's, it's beautifully variegated. It has a lot of variegation, but then it has a lot of speckles, which I really love. And so, like I said, Neon Jade looks so great with these. But I also like Princess, of course. Those two look so pretty together. And let's see, what else looks good with Shiny Object? I have a new variegated colorway that looks great with it. This is called Golden Kiwi. And it just has these beautiful speckles and greens and yellows. That looks good. If you wanted to do kind of a yellow shawl or a yellow project, that'd be really pretty. This is I'll Be Back. I'm also stocking this this week. And I think those two actually pair up really well together. They share some of the similar tones, the same and similar tones, but this one, um, I'll Be Back, is just a little darker. So it, oh, I like that a lot. Those two look really pretty together. Let's see, I'll also be restocking Endless Summer. So that's pretty as well. If you want kind of a deeper, some deeper tones. So shiny object, it is coming back into the shop. And then next up, I want to share this one. Let me reach for it. This is Pacific Dreams. And it is so gorgeous. I really, really love this colorway. It has pinks and some of these bright neon corals and bright yellows with speckles all over, kind of these earthy toned speckles. I really, really love this colorway. And I love it actually paired with Sunspot, which is another yellow colorway I will be restocking. I think those two look so pretty together. And I did do a shawl with uh, Sights on Summer I paired it with these colors, but these two are oh, so pretty together. And I also am restocking Beachy Keen. And so these three colors are really pretty together. I like those three. But Pacific Dreams, um, as far as tonals, it goes well with Coral Conch, it goes well with Princess, Bubblegum. Here it is paired with Princess. It would look great with Saturn which is uh, kind of a soft, pale neon yellow. So it's just a really fun color overall. They got some really pretty tones in it. So Pacific Dreams back in the stock. And I should mention too, I actually will have most of these, if not all of these on minis. So if you're a mini lover, definitely check the shop out on Friday because I will be stocking a lot of minis. Okay, let's talk about Sunspot since I brought that in just a minute ago. This is Sunspot yellows with pops of bright orange and pink and some earthy speckles. I'm gonna reach for this one right here. 
So this is just a really, really gorgeous yellow. I like this because it does have some other colors in it. And so if you are looking to bring in an orange or bring in a pink to your project, you definitely can do that because of these speckles here in the colorway. So this is Princess next to Sunspot. I think it's really pretty. I think Beachy Keen works well because you do have those yellows as well as these oranges here. So they kind of tie in together. And then if you wanted to just go completely different, let's put I'll Be Back with it. And I think those two are really, really pretty. I like those together. I think those are pretty. Okay, so Sunspot. I think this skein is just so pretty. And it is back in stock. I want to talk about Beachy Keen next and I love these colors together because they're just so unexpected and they're just beautiful, just very springy, summery, bright, happy colors. They look great with purples. As a matter of fact, you know what I have here? I have purple passion flower that I will be restocking. So let's go ahead and check those out together. That's those are very pretty. I really, really like those together. So actually Beachy Keen would be great if you wanted to do a purple and then transition more into like a yellow or an orange. So you could actually put shiny object with these and those are so pretty together. And because shiny object has these kind of aqua colored speckles on it you could actually then go ahead and transition more into some aquas you could put golden kiwi with it there's some blues in there blue and greens actually you know what you could do you could even put i'll be back these all look really really pretty together you could even do this if you wanted <laughs> kind of Put, a, put those four colors together. Those are really nice. I like those a lot. So Beachy Keen, just a really, really pretty colorway, is back in stock. Okay, next, let's see. We talked about Shiny Object. I have so much yarn here. It's, it's just, it's crazy. And I have a little bit different setup today, so bear with me. I don't know if... I will always have this, but you know what? It's nice to try new things. <laughs> so I'm just trying it this way today and uh, we'll see how it goes. But my next colorway I have to talk about is Purple Passion Flower because it's so gorgeous. One of my favorites, and I've had this in the shop for a long time. This is a long time favorite of all pineapple yarn fans. <laughs> Y'all just love this so much. And it is just a beautiful, pretty, vibrant color weight. It has all these speckles and uh, looks great with Princess. I always say Princess is a neutral for all of my yarns in the shop. It basically looks great with everything. <laughs> this is no exception. Purple Passion Flower looks really pretty. And you know what? I am going to put it next to Neon Jade, my new tonal. Oh, and that looks really nice. I really like those two together. This would be really pretty in a shawl that had some micro stripes in it or some brioche. I think those two would look, oh, those would be so pretty together. Those would really complement each other. So those look pretty. Let's try, um, let's see. Even put like a brighter green with it. This is Glowworm. I think that's really gorgeous. Glowworm is just such a pretty green. It has a lot of yellow in it, so it's super bright and just really happy. It's gorgeous. So, Purple Passion Flower is back in stock. Next up, I want to talk about my new variegated colorway called Golden Kiwi. And I was looking for a yellow that was 
Um, not necessarily like a neon yellow. I actually love a good primary yellow, but I paired it with this light and bright green and it's kind of a neon minty green and it's just beautiful. And then I added some deeper speckles with it and I just, oh my goodness, I love it so much. So this is what it looks like with neon jade. It definitely, uh, the neon jade really looks blue compared to golden kiwi because golden kiwi has so much yellow in it. This is what it looks like with glow worm totally complements it absolutely looks beautiful and then let's see green stars green stars has a lot more yellow in it oh yeah that looks so so pretty green stars really looks good with this because of the yellow tones and another uh, color that i think would look really great with this is ocean motion you have kind of these like blues and greens and so you start with like a uh, yellow and you're kind of going into more of more cooler colors into those blues you could even add poolside with it those look really pretty i like those together and i'll be back could put those two together I think those are really pretty. Those would end up being a, just a beautiful project together. And maybe add Beachy Keen. Those are beautiful. All right, so Golden Kiwi is a new colorway. I'm so excited to bring this to you. And it is going to be in stock on Friday. All right, next up, let's talk about Ocean Motion. Oh, this is so good. I love this colorway. <laughs> it's just so bold and bright at the same time. It is just, oh, it's so fun to dye and it's so fun to knit with. Um, you know, if you made socks with this, you just have all of these punches of this gorgeous deep cobalt blue and then you'd have the speckles, but then you'd have little bits of these bright colors too and i just it there's just so many different colors in here they're so beautiful and i showed this before but this is poolside it is a great great tonal i really like it um, i do want to mention with all of my tonals and my colorways i do offer custom dyeing if i don't have it in stock so for tonals you can um, the minimum order is two skeins and then for variegated is four skeins. So that is a great amount if you have a specific project in mind or if you just really, really like a color and you know you're going to use it in different projects. Um, I would definitely recommend that. So don't let a color that is out of stock, don't let that deter you. Don't be sad about it. <laughs> it's definitely, um, I'll put the link uh, below in case you're interested in that, but a lot of people don't know that that's available. So I thought I would mention it real quick, but those are really pretty together. So you have I'll Be Back and Poolside and Ocean Motion, and those are gorgeous. I love these together. Those are so, so pretty. Those would be really pretty in a project. I like those a lot. Let's see here. Oh, we showed these together. Golden Kiwi and Ocean Motion. Those are beautiful. But any kind of blues, greens look really good with Ocean Motion just because it has so many blues and greens in it. There it is with uh, Glow Worm. That's really nice. That's really, really pretty. Let's try Neon Jade. Oh, I love that so much. That would be beautiful in a three color project. That would be really, really pretty. I love that. All right, so Ocean Motion, back in stock. All right, let's talk about I'll Be Back. Oh, I'll tell you, this is every time, every time I dye this, it's a little bit of an unpredictable colorway because there are so many 
different dyes that go into this. <laughs> so many, I can't even tell you, but you just come up with these fabulous color combinations and unexpected blends and then you add speckles and it's just, oh, it's just great. It's just absolutely fabulous. So it is really a highly variegated mixture of aquas and greens and pinks and oranges. And um, I can't tell you how much I love this. I really love this colorway. And one of the reasons is because it just goes with everything. <laughs> it has so many different colors. Um, this is one of those skeins that you have in your stash and you really can just put any color with it and it matches. So for example, here's another one of my highly variegated colorways. This is Endless Summer and I'll be back. You could put those together in a project and they would look great together. They have different colors, but they are so beautiful. Those are really, really fun. You could pair this with purple passion flower and that looks beautiful. But you know, because it is so variegated, it really looks beautiful when it is paired with a tonal. So princess, of course, looks fabulous. <laughs> no shocker or no surprise there. And here's glow worm. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. I can imagine these darker spots offset by the, the light and bright glow worm. That would be really pretty. Here it is with a neon jade. That is very, very beautiful. Now, in case you're wondering, neon jade looks greener than clear water. So if you, let's see. I wonder if I have any clear water. Okay, I just checked my stash and I do have, uh, or not my stash, the shop. I have a skein of Noe Mohair Silk in the clear water colorway. So it's going to be really hard to tell but this uh, clear water is more blue than neon jade. And then let's see here. This is green stars. So you kind of have uh, a spectrum here of blues to greens. And that might give you a little more idea of where neon jade falls in the spectrum, but I don't know what happened. We just totally got onto tonals. <laughs> Let me set these aside. Okay, I'll be back. I've got to, I've got to come back. I've got to focus here. But this is a really fun colorway and I really like it. So I hope you do too. I was really excited to dye this up again. I'll be back, back in stock. Okay, last but certainly not least is Endless Summer. And I have talked about this before that this is just one of my favorite colorways. It is a lot of pink and it's very bright. And so I, I just think it is such a beautiful colorway and it is gorgeous knit up because you have some of these deeper tones, you can go all different directions with this colorway. So this looks great with Oyster and Pearl, which are two of my grays. It looks great with that. It looks great with an undyed yarn. Um, I do carry undyed yarn in my shop. If you're looking for, you know, that winter white color, it looks so beautiful. Here it is with Princess. But I do think, I, I am fully convinced <laughs> that you could pair Endless Summer basically with every color. So let's scoot all these greens over. And here is with the clear water, uh, Noe mohair silk. Can you imagine this layered over this? That would be stunning. Neon jade, green stars, glow worm. I mean, really all of those look great with that. They look so pretty with Endless Summer. And of course we saw Princess 
also looks great. Here's poolside. That is also just so pretty and vibrant. So I think I've made my point. <laughs> it's such a versatile colorway as well as um, I'll be back. Those two are just so versatile. So I hope this helps pairing up all of these yarns. Again, my shop update will be Friday, February 18th at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. I hope you enjoyed this shop update. If you did, I'd love if you'd give it a thumbs up and check out the links below in the description and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.